enjoyed the school actually. We really enjoyed it. We, it was more for health than I think more for health than education. You know what I think? Yeah, 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 yeah. More for health than education. Yeah. We all suffered from. Uh, I was on guard. Still morning, I had a bad back, and John uh, asthma. Good place to come back to see the school. A lot of it's disappeared. I had orchards to look after and there were some huge greenhouses right at the very top. All that's gone now. I, I enjoyed it because you got probably a bit more freedom then days than what you had at uh, an ordinary school as such. I uh, have a lot of thought for normal school and I think everybody here still appreciates what normal school did for us. And even years and years after you think, that were a nice school. That did me good, that school. I think the school dinners in them days, uh, personally, I think they <coughs> put Jamie all of it to shame. Them days, the meals oh, were all oh, 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 I don't know how you, you, you have the meals now at dinner time, but them days there used to be long tables with 10 to 12. There used to be the infants, juniors, and seniors. And the seniors had the the food to dish out. To, to yeah, we're on dinner duties. We're on dinner duties. So, duties. so needless to say, the, uh, the seniors used to get the vast majority of the food and the youngsters were, were wanting more kind of thing. But we used to have a breakfast, which consisted normally of bread and mar marmite or sip or something like that. Uh, sometimes a cereal like porridge. And at dinner time, between courses, we used to have a big bowl of malt. Yeah. Uh, cod liver oil and malt. And needless to say, all the young ones, when they first attended school, oh, they were absolutely disgusting. Nobody liked it. Yet to this day, my grandchildren buy me a jar of malt for Christmas. Because <laughs> once you get hooked on it, it's, and they buy me a jar of malt for Christmas. And I could eat it in one go. Little things like that would remind you of normal school. I started when I was nearly eight years old. I was in hospital from being two and a half to seven years old, laid on a bed with cooked up, covered in plastic cast, head, body, all. So I didn't, I didn't learn to walk till I was seven years old. And I think the doctor told my mum it was unlikely I would ever walk. I mean, since then I've cycled for 51 years, I played table tennis for 51 years. So I've shown them that they were wrong. I love the lessons, the teachers. I had a very strict teacher, Mr. Hart, from that. Really strict. Mm -hmm. really strict One day he was teaching us about the Plimson line on a boat. And I was taking no notice. And he said, Green, what do they call this line on a boat? And I didn't know what they called it. And he got his slipper out and he says, Does this give you a flu? Plimson, slipper. And he still didn't know. Anyway, it gave me a little slap with his slipper on my backside. But I'll never forget where a plimsoll line is. We all respected him. In hindsight, yeah. after <coughs> it was a good thing there was a lot. It's, it served as well, I think, for us after life, I think, from leaving school. I loved, I loved everything about school. I think Newman's a special school, and the special teachers, and we were privileged to go yeah. to a special school. Definitely.